So jumping to it, we're playing as Johnny. And at this higher level experience, he does have some interesting abilities access, especially if you know how to play the character. It sounds quite interesting. And I'll showcase why, because I feel like it's quite dominant. It could be something that gets nerfed in the future, because in open areas, Johnny is terrifying. And even in not open areas, if the Johnny player knows the map really well and knows how to pressure, Johnny is scary as hell. So I'm going to showcase why it's so good. First time catching a stream, but always watch your TCM in the evening. Great video stream. Keep it up. Thank you. I'm glad to hear the energy. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Thank you. So let's go over here. So as you see the character, when he walks, he walks at a decent speed or runs at a decent speed. But if you actually hit and do the same animation as well, look how fast you are. It's actually nutty. So that's something you can keep in mind. Let's turn on the carbon battery before Grandpa wakes up. This usually happens in this screen. But you can actually use the leverage of animation cancelling through your base attacks to increase your movement speed. Because his main attack gives him a bit of a lunge uh, towards like a target usually. But in this case, it's not towards the target. You can use it just naturally to gain movement. So instead of me running there, normally I run and attack at the same time. I keep spamming attack. So anytime I go into recovery frames, I'm instantly into another attack, which increases my movement. So look at that. That is great. Now we're reaching this point here. You get called a cheater for this, honestly. I got called yesterday against some other teams. A cheater. They thought I was actually hacking because my character is moving so fast. But it's part of the game. It's in the game. So that's something to keep in mind. But look how fast. It's crazy. Let's open this. Let's put some pressure on the map. Hopefully. So what I usually do. We are hitchhiking on a team. So you can hopefully trap up some of the areas or the doors. Uh, these are all blocked at the moment. So I'm going to go upstairs. Could latch this. Create some choke points. Watch this door too. And then go upstairs now. And we'll block up some of the barricades up top. Or the uh, crawl spaces that happen. There should be at least two. Oh, they're already blocked. Wow. Okay, good luck. That was some very good luck on our side, to say the least. And this one? Yeah, nice. Let's block that. And now Grandpa wakes up. This is Johnny Bill to use random perks. I believe Serrated is random. And maybe even Scout. So you will have to reroll some of your perks, maybe. But if you get them. And you get the right tree, it's so god tier. It's one tree I won't actually reset because I actually like using this build a lot on Johnny. It's maybe his new best build too. And I can't wait to get to level three on both his core ability and his other abilities too. Because they're level two on the other abilities, which is really nice. Now he's just waiting for them to make sound. So I can't do anything else other than that, what I've just done. I can maybe block that area there. And you get 15 points every time you do this, by the way, closing these gaps as Johnny or as Cook. From here, back inside. The enemy team is playing so safe, which there is a four-man stack there. Two parties in, uh, two duos together. So we'll see what ends up happening. Oh, door's open. This door right here is open. Hello there. Time to party. No. No, he's so lucky. Wait, someone else is there. Watch this. Go this way. Get over before she climbs. Yes, there we go. There we go. Got the kill. Loves it. See it. Nice damage output. Oh my god. Already dead on an Anna player? That's unfortunate. She maybe got hit by Love Face and didn't recover. I can get HP. That door being closed. I didn't close that door. He chuck maybe? Oh, I heard you. Watch it now. Chase it with my, my attacks. Look at that. And the barricade's already broken, so she's dead. Oh my god! Oh my god! That's so good. That's so good. So we got two ready, just by that. Just by the mechanic. I'm telling you, it's busted. It's so much fun to use. Look at me running around the map, like this. If everything's open, I can activate my build at the same time. And see any footsteps that I did miss. In case some players are still close by, in some aspect. Like the Connie play, but I feel like the Connie play went up. So I'm going back upstairs, hopefully. Open up this door. Our ability should be at, back up in a moment. There you go. Now let's, let's find that Connie player. Got some footsteps here. Investigate. So Connie did go up and she closed. I thought it was Hitchhiker, but she had enough time to actually go up. There's sadly no footprints at all. Cancel that. Let's back up top, just in case. 
There's a valve over here. The valve's on that side, sorry. That's safe. This is safe. Nice. Keep roaming. Check doors. Door there is closed. Door there is latched. So we've got a couple of latched doors. Nice. See it. Did you latch every door? Don't tell me you latched. That was my door that I latched, I believe. Um, over here, though. Nothing at all. Save that. Let me feed Grandpa for a second. All doors are kind of safe. So they're stuck somewhere. And it's now just the original du uh, duo. There's two duos. One of them died. And now the other duo is still alive. So they still have comms to a certain degree. They could be side guarded. Oh, found him. Boss. Yeah, you're dead. I, I win that either way. Oh, he missed the one shot. Why? Oh, there you go. Never mind. You got the one shot. That play is dead as well. They just keep roaming around the map with that tech. Look how good that is. Look at how good that is. Oh my god. No one's there. Activate the ability again. Double check. Window's still closed. Doors latched because of me. It's crazy. Some pro gamer tech. Thank you. I'm glad to hear it. Makes his character actually bust, like actually busted to play. No footsteps at all. I feel this plays over here or playing in the kitchen somehow. The kitchen ladder. I don't know why, I just feel like that's the case. Go family focus build to give me information. Nothing. Footprints. Nothing at all. Oh, I'll play died? Oh, well done. GG's. GG's. Wow. Okay. Well, you can see the build being pretty potent in the actual way it's supposed to be played. And that gives you a lot of movement speed. And if you go towards the target, you just keep hitting them. And you can never, like, actually get rid of Johnny. So in some instances, when I've been versing Johnny's, and they always stick to you when they do their base stacks, it's because the character's designed like that. It's actually, like, meant to stick onto you when he's uh, hitting you until you find a crawl space. So if you don't find a crawl space, running from his target's quite hard. I think we should jump into a second match because I'm having a lot of fun. Let's jump into another match of this build. Match two. I know mates always want to demand a match two because I want to see the build in action a second time because it's so much fun. And let's have some fun here. Highlighting it. Because Johnny kind of nutty. And the only thing that can really happen here is save the plays, escape the basement really early becomes much harder. And they have certain texts to like jump out the window, turn the generator, and there's pressure. My team members are not doing much. Can become a bit of an issue. But we try our very best to showcase pinnacle Johnny gameplay and highlight what you have to do with the character. I already hear Anna behind low face to some degree. That was really weird. I heard the, her scream. Yeah, it's right there. <laughs> they go for backstab straight away. Oh, God. Let's go now. Use that tech straight away. Get that movement. From that door. It's a bit laggy, but it's all right. Turn on the car battery. If they add uh, stuff from other Texas Chainsaw Massacre movies, it'd be great, but we don't know yet. It depends what they do. The balls in their court for the developers. They just have to develop and make those plays happen. As we make these plays happen today, showcasing the best builds, the best times, what to do in this game and have a lot of fun with it. Now let's use our movement speed tech to get to the other area. Make sure I press it as much as possible to get that distance. And in certain moments like this, I'll be able to regain my stamina as well. Close this. Now, Grab is awake. It's not too bad, actually. I'm pretty close to the house, which means I can actually just go to the basement straight away and cause havoc, unless someone's already out, aka Connie plays already been out of the basement, which I'm guessing that might be the case. So let's activate a belt here. No one down that staircase. No one over here. A miss. No footsteps at all, which is actually kind of good. So what I'm going to do is actually close this. Latch it. Try and create opportunities for me to get kills. So, wherever they run off to, they pretty much die. They could be inside garden. 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. He had a, he had a voice come. Did he see someone and I didn't see it? Like Johnny's actual uh, character saw it. I can't tell. Latch that. Doors latched. The doors are latched. You should stay in the basement. I think they're still in the basement. They haven't went out yet. Oh my god, that kitchen. They're going to get a kitchen ladder. I'm going for Connie. I'm going to have focus. Look at that movement. Look at that movement. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. I'm lagging. What? Whoa. Okay, okay. I was lagging like crazy just then. That's all right. Backstabbed. We were getting some of our bar as well. And also the other aspects for our kit. You latched the door. Oh my god, you did. Oh my god, that save. She'll die to bleed though. She might die to bleed. Is that the um, player bleeding out? That amount of damage should make her bleed out on the Connie player. That was like five hits. Oh, serrated too. Now, where did you go? Nah. Got uh, that player? Look at that damage. Look at that. Okay, it's nice, nice. Serrated. Let's move around more. Oh, it's blocked here. Shit. That's not good. The area just closed off one side of the map. That's very nice. That's some good damage. Oh, the bleed out. The bleed out. The bleed out. That was such good timing. Come on, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her. Come on. Get her, get her, get her. Oh, she's gonna heal up. She has her power. She heals up from that. 50 HP from winning that encounter. Now she's tankier. He went left. Got the hit. Open, 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 open. Keep going, keep going. Keep swinging, keep swinging. I'll double check up top for a second. Make sure it's safe. It seems really good. It seems really, really good right now. That's unbelievable. Let's feed Grandpa as well. Get to level one, so family focus built is way better too. The amount of pressure we have right now, the enemy team has to heal up so much damage. Who went through there? Player. Bad. Latched. Latched. Watch that. Watch that. You can't do anything. Oh, no. Dead. The player was talking trash in the lobby earlier. Dead. The beat team is gone. <laughs> I'm telling you, this build's so good. Oh, God. So right over here, what we're trying to try and do is actually help out. I'm going to give Grandpa more blood, maybe. Because I haven't seen anyone else go up yet. They're still stuck in the basement, which is more kill potential. That's so good. They're so scared. Because I think we interrupted that door play and actually cost them big time. Yeah, we did. Because we interrupted that one play and the other play came from here. Because there's the only door open. So we close this, and we lock it again. We go for our sniffing ability, and find their feet. <laughs> and get them kills. You know what it is. There's a patch tomorrow, you think so? If there's a patch tomorrow, I'll be very happy to see what happens. But I don't think so. Wait, are they? Or they maybe went side garden, and we just haven't seen them.
Investigate. That's another mechanic in the game where there's feet and you actually find the positioning and it's not really there. Oh, it's side guarded. I told you. We're getting an ability. I knew it's side guarded, which means they can get fuse access. They have enough time for fuse. Or even valve. The front door's open. She won the one close count as well. That car battery, is that car battery on? Please tell me it's not on. Oh, it's on! Ah, oh, GG. Unlucky. Well done. Don't worry. I'm going to turn on the car battery just in case though. Maybe we can catch someone else out. Well, that generator is still off. I'm oh, sorry, on, not off. Even the back door is wide open? Why is Lilface AFK? Why is it not moving? Come on. Yeah, as well. Got her. I heard her through the abilities. She went down into the basement. You're dead. Got her. Nice work. That's the thing. If you don't open doors in the basement, you're gonna die. Connie killed by Johnny. Love seeing it. Now we've got one player left. Where's the other player? He could be anywhere. He's outside. Has to be outside. Did I leave that door open as well? I don't think I left that door open, did I? It's not the generator. Power battery still on. You think it's still fused? Maybe he's going to fuse again? I remember the valve turn on. The front door's open as well, so he could have went front door just camped there. Oh, I don't know. We're getting some of my stamina before I run out. No footsteps. It has to be at the actual back area. We didn't see him. Maybe that door that was open was actually him. So I think he's going to turn on the car battery. I'll turn it off so he can actually escape. That's what's happening in my mind. And I think that's maybe the most possible outcome. What do I see him there? I can't see the car battery being on as well. We'll see. It's still on. If we grab her again, but that's enough time for him to get out. There's two doors wide open. There's no face playing stealth like, but camping at the same time. Yeah, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. 
Come on, please, 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 please. Low full. Shit, this guy's like actually standing still. In every instance. Get grabbed to level five. Come on. Has to be Fuse. I found him, found him. Got him. Watch this, he can't do it. No time. He has to stun me, he has to stun me. Dead. There we go. No stun, GG's. Oh my god. That's insanely good. That is insanely good. Two matches, three kills on my favor. And winning both matches, technically, because three or four kills, class riders win, depending on how you see the game. But that's really fun. That was really fun. I've never done two matches in one video in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, so hopefully you enjoyed this, highlighting the build in action because it's so promising and does create this new nuance to the character where actually managing your stamina and hitting at the same time while moving gives you this increased move speed. And with certain perks that we have right now at level two only can even increase by even 5% more at level three. So that's really nice. So the base endurance stat will always be 50, but having that level three status on scale and getting that 5% movement speed as well alongside it and also increasing your damage output by not reducing it as much means the world. And you put the rest into savagery, so then your damage output is pretty darn good too. So you can just keep chasing targets, stick towards them, and get those kills, make the games count, and have a lot of fun with this character. So it's pretty high up there as one of the, maybe the best builds on the character at the moment. That was a lot of fun. If you mates are new to the channel, make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, follow us on Twitch, join our Discord, and also code Lordy at GameStars for 10% off, and our website, btlmerch.com. Show us all there. Greatly appreciate